Sup guys, welcome to another video. Um, this time I'm going to continue the series of our companion AI. If you remember in the last video, um, I just set up so the AI would follow me. But as you can see, this is a little bit awkward because he follows exactly my step and that's unrealistic. So in this video, we're going to make sure that we make our AI um, have human behavior so it's more realistic. So I'm going to go into my companion AI and we're going to do some changes for this. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a function and I'm going to call this get random position or random pause around player. And I'm just going to make this a pure function and I'm going to put an output that is going to be a vector. So it's a 3D coordinate and I'm just going to call this the location. Actually the position. So yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing position there you go so what are we gonna do in here first of all we're gonna get our player character we are going to get the actor location and then we're gonna get a random position uh, no it's random Oh yeah, random point, that's it. Get random point in navigable radius. Uh, pick this one because we this one will use our navigation data that we created in the last video. So um, just connect this up. So the random location into over here. There you go. And the origin is going to be uh, our actor location. The radius is basically going to be the distance that we wanted basically to get uh, far away from the player. So imagine if you're like, you are like a couple of like directions that you wanted to have like, I want it to be tight with the player, so you're going to make this radius like 3 meters, but you want like the AI to be more spread, you would make it, um, I don't know, like 6 meters. So um, I'm going to want it to be, because it's a companion, like a single companion, I'm going to make it like 300, so it keeps around the player uh, 3 meters. And yeah, that's it for the function. You can compile and save. Now if you go into the event graph, instead of using um, this target actor, you just use this get a random position around the player. And... Uh, hmm. Now, the thing that's going to happen, and I will show you, is now if I go over here, and I, the player is going to come around me, so he goes into the point, but now because uh, we are looping the AI, it's just going to be finding a random position um, all the time. So even if I'm stopped, it's, gonna, it's just going to keep, you know, going around. So I'm going to need to create a little check. So I'm going to delete this delay and I'm going to create another function. I'm going to call um, is player away or is player close. Yeah, I'm just going to call it is player close. I'm going to make this uh, a pure function again. And I, I don't think if I explain the pure function basically um, allows you to not like having execute pins and you just, you know, can freely drag it into the map. So in situations like this where you just want to get a value that is like, you know, um, it doesn't actually need execution pin. So you can just, you know, drag it like this. Uh, so is a player close. I'm going to want an output. And that is going to be um, is close, and this is going to be obviously a boolean. So I'm going to get back to this and fill this in. But the logic is here. Uh, so if the player is close uh, on the success of the the movement, I do not want it the the AI to move away again. I'm only going to want to. Um, you know, move again if it's false. So basically, if this is true, I'm just going to keep a delay. So we keep rechecking this. And whenever this value becomes false, uh, we are going to add another delay. And I'm going to make this like two seconds or something like that. And then I will execute the I move to again. Now I'm going to fill in is player close and if we wanted to to check this we're gonna get the player pawn again 
I'm gonna get the actor location and then I'm going to um, get a, a, a node that is called get distance to so actually we don't need to get the actor location we just need to plug this in so I just want to get the distance between the player and ourselves that in this case is going to be the AI and if this is um, I don't know smaller or equal to I guess 350 so let's go a little bit above all those 300 meters uh, I guess we can put this a little bit bigger like 500 uh, we're gonna make and say that well the player is close to the AI now if you play this let's just test this out so the AI is gonna come near us he's just gonna stop so you can see that he's not you know interacting anymore nice if I move away he's gonna wait a little bit and he's gonna come around me again and if I go away again he's just gonna find another position if I just go over here, uh, it's just gonna find another position. And now I can make this a little bit better by I think I exaggerated a little bit on this, you know, timer. So instead of two seconds, I'm gonna put one. So it should be a little bit better. Let's try that again. It's gonna find a random position, and after a second, he's gonna try and find us again. Get a random position around us, and. But another thing that I'm, you know, thinking is that, well, the player is kind of going into a position um, and like he's going near us and uh, he's always turning away. Like when we have a companion AI, the AI is kind of focused in something. So like if there is no enemies around, he's kind of looking at you, waiting to see where you're going to go. And if there are, you know, other enemies, he's going to be turning into them and shooting them or something like that. Um... But another thing, if you move around the player, but you still close, he's not going to move. But what we can do um, is, we can go into the event tick, so just do event tick. And uh, let's get a node that is called find look. Find look at rotation, this will basically get the a vector. Um, or the locations, two locations, and is basically going to get the rotation, uh, you know, to the person that, you know, is going to be, um, it's a little bit hard to explain, but, you know, imagine there are two points here, so like these two common bubbles, and you just get the position of these two in the world, and then he's going to get, um, you know, the, the, the rotation, so basically we'll just rotate this node um, towards this one it's kinda gonna find the you know the rotation so the, the actor in this case the, the one of these bubbles is an actor that actor is going to rotate towards the target so to show you that so the start is gonna get the actor location of the AI and the target would be get the player character and we would get the location and what this node is going to do is basically is going to find the rotation so that the, the AI is gonna be looking at the player so now what we gotta do is we can set actor set actor rotation and I'm just gonna get another node called uh, a rotation interp uh, this will basically smooth the rotation so it just doesn't snap uh, so I'm gonna get that into the the rotation the current rotation is going to be the rotation of the you know of the AI so I'm gonna get the actor rotation I'm gonna connect it into over here the target is going to be the final look at rotation so we want to go from our current rotation to you know the rotation of being looking at the player the delta time is basically the delta seconds, so you can just connect it to the event tick. And the interp speed is basically how quick do you want the player to turn. I'm just going to give it a default value and I'm just going to say 10 for now. So if I play, the player is going to move and is just going to, you know, uh, is always going to, you know, follow us, try to look at us. But you can see that it looks a little bit weird when he's moving. I kind of don't want that, 
So I'm probably just gonna make the, the player rotate if we are moving. So let me just do a branch and we are only going to rotate the player if we get the velocity let's get uh, no let's get the length so basically the velocity um, is okay so if this is bigger actually no if it's smaller then let's say 50 so that means that we are stopped uh, what this means is um, the velocity is basically um, how much speed we got so the default uh, speed is 600 you can look at that in the the set max walk speed or the the max walk speed is default 600 basically the vector length will just turn this from a vector to a float so we can actually use you know have a float like this over here um, and if it's mi uh, minus 50 that means that it is very close to stop then he is going to slowly turn at us so you can see here that he's not turning at us until he stops and then he just turns and you know if he's not moving he's just gonna turn at us it's a little bit weird without animations but you can see what I'm trying to achieve here now he's just gonna move he's just gonna run no lack of smoothiness and he's just when he gets to the target location he's just going to you know kinda slowly rotate if you want to change how quick you rotate store this, so if you think this is too quick, you can just go over here over uh, the interp speed and change this value. You can play around with it, find a, um, you know, a nice value to this. But this is the default of making you know the behavior of the AI not so static and running right uh, you know behind this. Um, so yeah, now he goes around, he follows us. Um, you're gonna try to get near us and he will always look at us you can see that there is a problem uh, actually to fix this um, you can uh, I'm going to break this rotation and I'm going to right click and uh, I'm just gonna break the link and I'm going to split this we want to have the same roll and pitch that we have um, actually we don't want it from here we just want the Z from here and then we want the same uh, where is our rotation there you go we want to get our actor rotation we want to break it and we want the X and roll to always be you know the same ones you just want to get the new you know Z so we actually just rotate this on the Z axis so we rotate this around uh, we don't want him to, you know, kind of come at us over there. Let's see if he does the same. He does. So he stays there and he, he kind of turns to us, but he, like his body, you know, doesn't get unrealistically, you know, uh, inclined. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it on this video. In the next one, I believe I might start, you know, getting some basic enemies to do something. Um, so we can have, you know, uh, a pattern. So he's just going to follow us around. And when he sees an enemy, he's just going to turn around and shoot them. And yeah, I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. So thank you, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Any things that you want me to do, as always, leave them in the comments or any doubts. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.